We are back at GNA University. We've had a wonderful discussion about some domain-specific, industry-specific questions and concerns of the students here at GNA University. I think it's now time for some more general, more broad questions to be answered about life in general, about interpersonal skills, about leadership, and so on and so forth. So um, I believe you have the next question today. Yes. So would you please stand up and share your question? Good afternoon, sir. My name is Prabhjit Kaur, and my question is how to stay positive with negative people? How to stay positive with negative people? Among negative people. Thank you, Prabhjit. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Prabhjit. How many other students have the same question? Raise your hands, please. My God, everyone. <laughs> Which means, so how come you you are going to face the problem? All the positive people are sitting in this room. <laughs> So you shouldn't be asking this question to me. You should be asking the question to everyone else. How to stay positive among negative people? Okay. Negative people are doing their job when they're being negative, yes or no? They're playing their role. They're doing their part. And they're doing it well. <laughs> if they're able to upset you, irritate you, that means they're doing a fantastic job at what they should be doing, right? Question is, are you? Why should I spend all my energy on changing these people? Will the wo world entirely always be 100% positive? Will I succeed in that mission? Entire population, 100% positive. Is that ever going to happen? What can I do? I can offer a good example. Yes or no? I can offer, I can be a good example. And a good example of being a positive person, optimistic person. A good example of being who I am. Now please, let's not underestimate the force of Negative people. Sometimes you're, you're in your perfect positive thing. You see, they were not born this way. Nobody was born one fine day, 1st of January saying, I just took that as an example. So, 1st January guys, don't be offended. <laughs> Nobody was born one fine day, fine day and, they, and they made a commitment, they made a decision, I'm going to be the most negative person on this planet. <laughs> Something happened along the way, right? They're hurting. They have grudges against life, against you. They are comparing. And in those comparisons, they feel they are weaker. Luck didn't favor them. Life didn't favor them. Their parents didn't give them the best. Or the world is always against them or something like that. Now they got to take it out on someone. They want to convince you to come and be part of their club. Birds of the same feather locked together. People of the same thinking, usually attracted together. So the, yes, there is going to be a clash. There is going to be a clash of energies. This person will say, let's do it. This person will say, hold on, hold on. You know, it's not that easy. Have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? It's not always bad. Sometimes they help you to put things into perspective. So avoid labels, please. That's one of the things I will say to you in dealing with negative people. If I deal an individual, no one's negative 100% of the time. No one's positive 100% of the time. We all have our dark sides. We all have our nicer sides. Okay. So avoid labels. If I label someone as negative all the time, my reaction to that individual is going to be from that frame of reference. I'll say, okay, run. Here comes a negative person. You don't even give a chance to that person to be positive. People live up to the expectations that you give them. So it's joint work, it's, it's collaboration in dealing with this situation. You also give them some scope of changing. And then at the same time, don't let their energy, don't, don't let their energy infect you. Okay? And don't try to change them. The worst thing you can go and do with a negative person is to tell them 10 times in a day, why are you so negative? What's wrong with you? Why are you so negative? Try doing that. <laughs> Wear a helmet. Wear a helmet and go up to a negative person and ask them 10 times in a day. Why are you so negative all the time? 
it's not going to help it's not going to help so don't spend all your energy on converting them instead try using all your energy in protecting yourself protecting your vibration the best gift ladies and gentlemen or my young friends boys and girls the best gift you can give in today's world is the gift of your own positive vibrations this is the biggest treasure in a world that is becoming increasingly pessimistic increasingly negative the best gift you can ever give is the gift of your own positive emotions so fill up time to refuel yourself find your own joy to find your own happiness so that then you're able to deal with not negative people i will not label them but negative situations there are no negative people there are negative situations and if you hold on to your positive things yes some people some of them they predominantly most of the time most of the time they tend to be negative okay predominantly by and large their response usually lean to be towards the negative side but if you hold on to if you put in the same effort in who you are you'll be able to sail through so it's going to be a clash of energy the final test is whose energy will win will you allow a negative energy to overpower you and that will happen okay you're human that will happen you will feel irritated you will feel angry you will feel upset you will go even have an argument but allow that to be a learning process hello allow it to be a learning process which means what today i have engaged with this negative energy or i'm just going to take a different street imagine if you have um, a certain way to come to gna university and there are five or six options five or six different six different ways to get here and you know on one particular path every day there is something some problem waiting for you what would be the wiser thing to do and change a different pick a different time pick a different route to come to work right and then in the long run work be the good example so you're able to take care of this all the world needs more positive people who are not positive all of the time but positive most of the time you must be one of them we must be it's our duty it's our obligation thank you for asking that question <laughs>